Lazarus taxon is a term used to describe species that were raised from the dead like Lazarus from the tomb. You're watching the channel Top 10 World, and for today's video, we'll talk about the top 10 animals that came back from extinction. But before we hop into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family. Fernandina Giant Tortoise Natural phenomenon such as extreme climactic heating or cooling or changes in sea levels have often led to animal extinctions. But in modern times, human activity has been to blame. Habitat destruction due to farming land expansion, overhunting, and forest cutdown are the main causes for extinctions, which also includes increase in level of pollution. Efforts to protect multiple species have yielded great successes in the past several decades, and some canny creatures seem to have come back from the dead. With awareness, critical care, and responsible tourism, more of these living fossils may truly live on and no longer be on the brink of extinction. On February 17, 2019, the Giant Tortoise Restoration Initiative found a female Fernandina giant tortoise on her namesake island. She's thought to be over 100 years old, and an individual of her species hasn't been seen since 1906, so she's been hiding out for pretty much her entire extinction. Tracks and scents around Fernandina Island indicate she's probably not alone. This lucky lady was taken to the Fausto Lorena Breeding Center where she'll be kept safe from Fernandina's erratic lava flows and looming Galapagos hawks. Elephant Shrew The last time anyone recorded a sighting of the Somali elephant shrew was almost 50 years ago, after which it had been assumed to have become extinct. Then, in August 2020, a team of researchers and academics reported that these tiny, odd-looking creatures were alive and well. Also referred to as the Somali Sengi, this mouse-sized animal, with its distinctive elongated nose, is thriving across the Horn of Africa. Bermuda Petrel Thought to be extinct for 330 years, 36 cahaos, a kind of petrel, were rediscovered in 1951. Successfully, after half a century of intensive pest and nest management, the Bermuda Cahau is on the rise, up from 18 to 131 breeding pairs, with 71 chicks successfully fledged last year. It's an ongoing recovery, said Conservation Officer Jeremy Medeiros, and an example for threatened species around the world in an era when encroachment on and destruction of habitats is putting more species at risk than ever before. The Cahau is a burrowing bird, and much of its natural habitat has been destroyed by sea erosion and hurricane damage. New nesting sites were constructed by the government of Bermuda, while chicks from established populations were relocated to non-such too. The majestic birds can be seen in flight during a boating tour with the Bermuda Audubon Society. Coelacanth The coelacanth is the fish that came back from extinction. It died out 65 million years ago, but was found to still exist in the 1930s. Its rediscovery was seen as one of the most important zoological findings of the 20th century. When naturalist Marjorie Courtney Latimer rescued a dazzling, iridescent, 127-pound coelacanth from a South African fish market in 1938, her discovery caused such a fuss that she often joked she wished she'd thrown the damn fish back overboard. Scientists believed that the genus extinct was a victim of the same old cataclysm that took out the dinosaurs. The two separate species, the Indonesian coelacanth, Latimeria menendonsis, and the West Indian Ocean coelacanth, Latimeria chalumne, and two of the world's 90 documented coelacanth species are still splashing in the deep today. They have not changed or adapted since, and so are now often referred to as a living fossil. Chicoan peccary or tagua Much like the coelacanth, the tagua, aka Chicoan peccary, was long known only from early Holocene fossil records. In 1974, a University of Connecticut biology professor named Ralph M. Wetzel rediscovered the pig-like endemic on a National Geographic research expedition within the dusty Gran Chaco, a far-off region shared by Paraguay, Argentina, and Bolivia. While endangered, taguas do exist in the wild, their territories can sometimes cover 2,400 acres, and they tend to hang out in scrubby thorn forests to shield themselves from jaguars, puma, and native hunters. The simplest place to examine them is the Tagua Sanctuary at the CCCI Conservation Center and Guesthouse in the center of the Paraguayan Chaco. Terror Skink Just off the coast of Australia, the French archipelago of New Caledonia possess the world's most diverse concentration of reef structures. 
heart-shaped mangrove swamps, and not one but two Lazarus species. Last found around 1827, the Beaucourt's terrific skink, or terror skink, nicknamed for its sharp curved teeth, was spotted in 2003 on a little islet off the Isle of Pines. At around 20 inches in length, it wasn't too hard to spot. Having been rediscovered by scientists, more research is now underway to learn more about them. Horned Marsupial Frog Horned marsupial frogs live exclusively within the pristine, bromeliad-covered, old-growth jungle canopy of the Choco Forest, a biodiversity hotspot described by biologist Alejandro Artiega as exotic, packed with colorful and photogenic animals, and in critical conservation need. 60% of the Choco's 350 amphibian species are endemic, and most of them are still undiscovered. Members of the conservation initiative Tropical Herping rediscovered the horned marsupial frog in 2018. Females of this unusual species carry a backpack pouch of developing embryos which hatch as complete infants, not as tadpoles. Tropical Herping's 10-night, 100-species tour takes visitors through Mindo, the Choco, and also the Amazon to look at Ecuador's 1,065 animal species. Takahe New Zealand's takahe is an indigenous flightless bird that went missing for nearly 50 years before explorers finally rediscovered it near Lake Orbel in Fiordland Park. Since then, the takahe recovery program has developed refuges for these shimmery red-beaked beauties on seven islands and a number of other inland sites, many of which accept visitors. In 2018, 30 takahe were released into the wild for the first time in 100 years. Cuban Solenodon there are few venomous mammals in the world. The Cuban Solenodon is one such example, but it was a missing example for some time. Although never technically extinct, its numbers are so low and sightings are so rare that it's often been thought to be. The Cuban Solenodon's forebears were around at the same time as dinosaurs. It's a living fossil that hasn't changed much in millions of years, according to the publication Scientific American. Its bite can kill, yet it lacks the strength and dexterity to defend itself or flee from danger, making it an easy target for predators. Deforestation has also contributed to population disturbance. Caspian Horse Caspian horses are tiny and affectionate and are an ideal first horse, able to be groomed, tacked up, and mounted independently by children. They have the Hallmark movie story in which American Louise Leyland marries an Iranian aristocrat in 1957 who visits Tehran, where they establish a children's equestrian center. The local horses proved too hot-tempered, so Louise and her pal set off on an expedition to the remote Caspian Sea Mountains, where they discover three thought-to-be extinct horses and trot them back to Narazabad. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos.